Most people in life know where their boundaries begin and end, but there is always a group of people who think they have more rights to you than they do. They are typically biological family members that have a similar bloodline. Maybe they have one parent that's the same. Maybe they have two parents that's the same. My late spouse, who was Japanese, had a stepsister. Her mom had married two men in Japanese culture. Or maybe she had a child out of wedlock. I really can't say. What I do know is the patterns of people. The patterns of people who like to play games in their minds of having power over people usually end up in difficulty. They end up in difficulty because after a while they cannot explain to their bosses, they cannot explain to their spouses, they cannot even explain to their children what they were thinking. You see, a man who thinks he's in power over someone else will show up with a man's truck. The truck may not be owned by the driver, but it is owned by a company. And a company that owns a truck that is supported by the U.S. government has governances over it. Those governances say the policies of the government impact it. When people don't understand that, they make a lot of mistakes on behalf of their stupid bill. A child who's an employee of a company often thinks, I will do what I like when I like because my boss is allowing me to or is not commenting on what I'm choosing or is not even aware of what I'm doing. The truth is in life that the animals of our universe know people. And if an animal won't come anywhere near you, near you, there's two reason for it. That the Lord God who governs them knows what to say to them to move them away from you. But at the same time, there are ill-willed people that will steal a child from an animal. You see, we have laws and social mores about the age that we take a puppy away from its mother to give it away, sell it away, or do things with it. We do the same, I believe, with children who are going to be put up for adoption because their mother decided that she cannot kill a fetus and she would bring it to term for another family to help that family to go on in its legacies. Now when I talk about this, I'm not being inappropriate. You see, you think that God is not smart enough. What I know is that God is smarter than people. What I also know is that people like to play God in other people's lives. And they so like to play God in other people's lives that they literally abate the law for their life. You see, laws are put in place in America not only to protect your life and your goods and your family and what's important to you really at the end of your life, but laws are put in place to protect me and others from bastards of Satan like you who just think your social mores are better and more important than the truth of society. The truth of society is visible in all new children coming into our community. And if you're a lazy bitch or bastard of Satan parent, you'll refuse to read a book on kids. And you will so monkey that child in your ideology and your laziness that we'll have a shit bag for society. Now, what am I saying to you today? Why am I talking about this? Why am I pissed off? I'm pissed off because since I arrived in this community to start my life over after the loss of my life partner of more than 20 years, I don't fucking have to establish myself to anyone here. But I have the right to live my life. I have the right to move myself through struggle. I have the right to sleep without some monstrous bastard girl or shitbag boy putting his hands on my face. Some monster in the police force has continued to assault my face, continued to trim my beard, or was it the little faggot Jamie who just couldn't leave me alone on campus, which is why, sort of, I left there, when he infiltrated a hundred dollar investment for me with a student who got money from his father to allegedly gift to my mission? He started an inappropriate conversation. Not only was he walking down Green Street towards 6th, but he turned his little ass around like a faggot fairy, walked himself all the way back to First Street, came across the street and said to my client, my prospect, my future liaison, Spencer, I don't know what he's telling you, but that man is, and he just went off. And at that moment, I recognized two little boys that needed to be left alone together. Not only did Spencer lie, if that was his name, about his name, and maybe I monkeyed his name and can't even fucking remember, 
But that man, that young man who was really someone who played in my property and probably stole things and was trying to make it up with his hundred dollars, mentioned that his father was going to help me. His father, a local business owner of some pork shop. Maybe that whole bullshit was a lie. When I tried to reach out to the father to thank him for the, the donation he provided to me, which really helped me for a, a good week and a half, I asked about the follow-up. That kid has never responded to me. But what he did do as a moron was he went down the street with that little man, that 35 whatever the fuck he is, druggy boy, and he kept walking with him instead of staying with me. Immaturity is immaturity. Stupidity is stupidity. Telling the truth of a life in a new community is still truth. It's still reporting and it's still protected under the First Amendment.